What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel. If this is your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. It is a cloudy, cold morning here in the Northwest. Today we are gonna be doing a complete build list on the truck, because I get a lot of questions about what size lift I have, tires, setup, where to get the grill from, headlights, all that stuff. So we're gonna cover all that in this video, stay tuned. We're gonna start in the front of the truck and work our way back. So first thing is we got a fortune bumper with the second gen conversion brackets, that way it fits on the front. We got the fog light cutouts in these ones. And in that bumper, we got a 42 inch curved light bar, wire run into the cab and there's a switch underneath the dash. All the links to all the parts that I'm showing on the build will be down below in the description if you guys wanna pick any up for yourself, as well as promo codes for those parts that I have. Next up, we got a custom grill made by Carrier Customs. Never Satisfied logo on the front. Promo code Never Satisfied 24V for 10% off. And this grill was color matched to the truck. And then I had the, the grill insert powder coated black to match the other powder coating on the truck and the white to match the other powder coating on the front, which we'll go over here in a minute. So next up, we got these custom headlights, custom built by Applied Lighting on Instagram. As they have a website as well, I think it's AppliedLighting.com. I'll put their information down below as well. Promo code for these is Never Satisfied, all capital letters for 10% off anything on the website and 5% off any custom build you want to do. So they have a hexagon LED strip in them, like a halo, and then they have um, projectors with Never Satisfied, the actual logo and etched inside the lens. And then we have our brights over here. And then we have a switchback for the blinker. So what that is, is it's a amber light for the blinker when you turn the blinker on. Otherwise, and then turn it off, it's a regular white light to match the rest of them. So it's just a regular light until you turn the blinker on, then it turns into an amber light. So I'll, that's one of the features I actually really like about these lights. It's pretty cool. I'll turn them on here for you so you guys can see what they look like. One thing I almost forgot about was when you turn the blinker on, the hexagon halos turn orange and blink as well, which is probably one of my favorite features that's pretty slick. And also there's an LED strip below at the bottom here, which turns on when your headlights turn on. So if I come here into the app, just log into it here, you can turn, you can manually change colors from it. So I click here, boom, yellow, white, green, bunch of different color choices, but yeah, just an app on my phone. I open up, turn them on, super simple. Um, you guys saw the headlights work. Pretty awesome headlights. Again, the code is never satisfied, all capital letters, for 10% off anything on the website or 5% off custom builds. But now let's move on to the next thing. So next up, we got the crossover steering from LP24V on Instagram. Promo code never satisfied 24V for 10% off anything on their website. We have the crossover steering and end links. Both of those are made to order. So you take measurements from the middle of your knuckle where the bolt goes center to the center of the pitman arm bolt hole. And that'll give you your um, drag link measurement. The tie rod's always gonna be the same, obviously. And then for the end links, you just tell him what size lift you have and he'll make those according to that. You do have to drill out your knuckle and your pitman arm to three quarter inch for the himes to fit through there. Next up, we got a track bar behind that powder coated black from Dodge Off Road as well as the track bar bracket. And then up here, you can't see it now, I'll take a shot of it in a second. We have a redhead steering gearbox that we just put in not too long ago, as well as a Mishimoto heavy duty trans cooler with the fan. And along with that, we got black braided lines from Fulson Diesel, promo code never satisfied 24V for I believe it's $30 off of anything on his website. We also did powder coat the sway bar as well to the black pearl metallic that we use for our powder coat as well as we put new bushings in there. 
And I am working on getting a promo code from Redhead so that way we can save you guys some money as well on steering gear boxes. I know a lot of you guys ask a lot of questions about that. So it is in the works, don't worry. All right, so the last thing on the front of the truck that we'll go over is the wheel ring lights. Talking about these guys right here. If I can figure out where I'm pointing, here. La. So these are from Adrenaline Off-Road, promo code never satisfied 24 v for $20 off of wheel ring lights and rock lights. So these are pretty awesome. As you saw, I turned them on with this little controller right here. Probably one of my favorite features of any lights I have on the truck is this little tiny controller. You slide this up so you don't hit anything in your pocket. It's just really easy, simple, but also really convenient. You just press the D button to turn them on. You press A to go through all the different colors. B is different modes. So you got super flash, and then you got like a slow, bright, then back down to nothing. But it's definitely one of my favorite things on these trucks at night because it's fun to turn on the lights, drive around, you get a lot of people staring at you, and break a lot of necks, which is always fun. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. All right, so next up, we got probably my most asked question I get all the time. And I'm talking probably three to four times a day on Instagram. I get a DM asking this question. And that is, what size lift are you running? And the answer to that is I have a whole bunch of lift kits just kind of thrown together to have what you see here, which is a seven inch lift in the front and a five inch lift in the back. Kind of got that lean going on a little bit. Yeah, I know it's annoying, trust me. But there's not a lot of options as far as the kits go for these trucks. That's why I am currently right now having something in the works as far as that goes. I'm getting a phone call, ignore them in the middle of the video. But there's something in the works for that because honestly, I'm tired of this look. And there's not a lot of options unless you want to go with a five inch like rough country kit which no one really wants to do or there's a bda blah, or there's a bds long arm kit which you can get but that's like three to four thousand dollars so um not a lot of options for these trucks but right here i'm running a seven inch in the front like i said and a five inch in the back and i'll show you all the components of that right now so up here in the front i have a seven inch spring from skyjacker off-road there's no lift puck or lift block in the front because it rides terrible with that so i just got only the spring and then, like you saw earlier, the longer end links, which will cover that. And then I have custom long arms the, um, from a guy in Milwaukee that custom made these. They got Johnny joints um, on both ends. And this side is adjustable. And those are just powder coated black. That's the other thing about these trucks is not a lot of companies make long arm kits for them. BDS makes one, Tough Country makes one. And uh, as well as LP24V, which made my crossover steering, he makes long arms for these as well, which are probably the most affordable. And also they work for um, a lot of different applications. And also Top Gun Custom makes um, short arms for these as well. And I believe long arms with uh, CNC cut face plates. All right, now let's move to the back. So back here, you got a five inch block with an add leaf and longer shocks. And I know the truck is dirty, but it's literally starting to rain right now. So if I wash it, it's just gonna get trashed again. So I'm just gonna wait to wash the truck, probably until tomorrow, but I am gonna get to it. All right, next up right here, coming back, we got a Stubby Antenna, which is a local company here in Portland that makes these. Uh, I'll put a link to these down below as well. Yes, my radio still works perfectly fine. I never have any problems with uh, static or anything like that. It works just as good as a stock antenna. It just looks way better because you don't see this long, ugly whip up there. I can literally can't even see this from the cab. So that's one thing I love about the stubby antenna is it's invisible from the inside, but your radio still works perfectly fine. Coming back, we got Fortune mirrors, which we just installed not too long ago um, with the LED blinkers in them. I am going to get these wired up probably in next video. I just got to go pick some stuff up for that, which I'm going to do later today so that way we can get um the video out on wiring these up because i noticed there wasn't any on youtube about wiring up uh the blinkers on these for um second gens at all so i hope i can help some of you guys out on wiring these up uh because i know a lot of people like to put tow mirrors on their trucks as well as uh the fortune ones on the second gens so yes these are tow mirrors a lot of people ask me um or say i need to get mirrors that flip up well these do flip up i don't know what you're looking at but these uh these do go up and one, one feature I love about these ones is, let me show you. 
So I used to have the third gen ones. Is the third gen just had a little tiny thing, uh, blind spot mirror right here. This one has a whole blind spot mirror that's adjustable from your actual mirror itself. So what I do is I take the blind spot mirror and I have it faced all the way down so that way I can see the tires. So I make sure I don't curb anything. I don't want to curb the wheels. So that one's all the way down. The other one I just use to see for when I get over and everything. But that's how I had those set up because it just makes my life a lot easier. Alright, and on the window we got these uh, window rain guards, whatever you want to call them. They came on the truck when I bought it and honestly I love those things. I can have the windows down a little bit when it's raining, like right now. And it's annoyingly raining and nothing gets in there, which is really nice. So if, you get, like, if it gets fogged up in the cab, you can just roll them down, let air in. And you don't have to worry about getting rained on. Next up, tent. I get asked this all the time what uh, percentage tent I have. It's 5% all the way around, and the windshield is 10 and 35%. So it's none of your business tent, essentially. You can't see in the cab at all, even if you look up really close. There's, there's no way it's seeing in. It's too dark, especially with the uh, windshield being tinted. It really makes everything dark because normally, um, on my other, my work truck, I have uh, all the windows tinted except for the, the front. And when it's sunny out, you can see in the sides because of all the light that is getting let in from the front. So on this truck, it's tinted all the way around. None of your business tent, like I said. And I absolutely love it. At nighttime, it's your worst nightmare. But other than that, it's great. Alright, and we're working our way back. We have a Gator truck bed protector from Tonneau Covers. It's a foldable cover. You just unlatch the um, things inside and it folds twice up to the front. And then there's two hooks that hook to the truck bed rails in the front, which hold that in place. And I also put a security lock on the uh, back handle here because our trucks don't come with uh, tailgate locks, which kind of sucks, but you got to do with what you got. This lock is made by Pop and Lock. So like I said, you just put the key in there, turn it, unlocked. Next up, we got these aftermarket tail lights, which I think are probably one of the best aftermarket tail lights you can get without getting custom ones, which I actually want to get custom ones that are color matched. But these are the ones I have right now. So these are aftermarket, just uh, second gen tail lights. I'll turn them on so you guys can see what they look like. So next we have an LED tailgate light bar, which you can see underneath here, which works with the running lights, blinkers, brakes, and hazards. Next up, we got these flush mount pods, one on each side. One of the best investments I've made on the truck. If you live in a um, anywhere that's dark at night, you got to back up. Like I have a long driveway to back down at night. It's countryside, so there's no lights. So these things help out tremendously because the backup lights and the tail lights don't do anything for you really. So these will get you taken care of if you need them. 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down below to them. Get yourself a pair. You won't regret it. So it is raining, so I'm gonna try to hurry before I ruin my camera. The next up, we got a five-inch turbo back diamond eye exhaust with a six-inch tip. I'll start it up so you guys can hear what it sounds like. On the inside of the door here, I got jam handles. You just put your fingers in here. They come in two finger, one, three finger, and four finger at the four finger. Just do that, close them, super easy and awesome. And then I'm running the 26 by 14 
negative 81 offset crown series victory wheel from Archon Off-Road. They have the custom uh, ring around the edge that you can undo with the bolts and powder coat it. I powder coated it white and I'm probably going to have the wheels powder coated later on. They're wrapped in a 37 by 13 526 RBP repulsor tire. A lot of meat on them. They're a little muddy now from uh, driving out here, but absolutely love them. Haven't had any issues with them yet. I'm grateful. Oh yeah. Able. Oh yeah. I'm stable. Oh yeah. No label. Oh yeah. You know me. At the under the truck here, we have an AirDog 2 4G lift pump fed by a sump at the bottom of the tank here. I'm going to have new lines made by Kevin at Folsom Diesel. I just got to measure them today and get them over to him so he can make them up for me. And I almost forgot to go over what's underneath the hood, so let's do that now. Starting on the left side, we got a Banks Ram Air with an oiled filter. And then right there, you can see the black braided lines from Full Send Diesel for the turbo feed, turbo drain, from the block to the heater core, then from the heater core down to the water pump. Those are from Full Send Diesel, promo code down below. We got a custom powder coated valve cover. And then coming over to the right, we got a Banks Monster Ram intake elbow with the boost tube. Going down, powder coated black to match my other powder coat. And then we got some other miscellaneous powder coated parts like the alternator bracket. And then I replaced the uh, coolant expansion tank not too long ago, as well as I rebuilt my oil housing not too long ago as well. And I do plan on getting a steed speed manifold at some point, as well as getting a new bigger turbo, possibly compounds, but we'll see um, what I plan on doing. I'm still going over that whole idea of what I want to do with here, but bigger injectors, uh, head studs, springs, all that stuff. Is definitely in the future for this truck so I want to get some power made to it and uh, a lot of big plans and I just want to get rid of all that rusty crusty stuff right there it just doesn't look good so getting underneath the hood cleaned up is definitely on the list of things to do but we just got to make our way around to doing it and uh, I got some other stuff that I want to get done as well that are in the plans and uh, getting made custom made right now so uh, that'll be in a future video one other thing I forgot to mention was I have an Edge Easy Tuner. It has three different levels on it. One, it's just over stock. Two would be for like tow mode. Three would be like their race mode. It's 50 horsepower over stock and level three. I'm going to get a bigger Edge, probably CTS2, hot unlock tuner with an insight for in the cab with a monitor. While editing this video, I noticed that there's at least two things that I forgot to go over on the build list. So I'm going to go over those real quick. One of those is my built transmission from Firepunk Diesel. It's a competition stage one transmission. Hold up to 800 horsepower. It comes with a PPE deep transmission pans you can see there. And then while we're underneath here, you can see the black braided lines from Full Sin Diesel. And then also, I currently have 10 rock lights on the truck. I got another six or eight to add on there. Um, but I got 10 rock lights from Mick Tuning. I'll put their information down below too. And it's just another app on my phone, just like the lights. You just flick them on, hit the button correctly, and then they come on. I'll turn the lights off so you guys can see what they look like better in the dark. But that was the other thing I forgot to add. But with that, it's going to wrap up another video. That's my complete build list from top to bottom. I'm sure I forgot a couple things, but that's all I could think of. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go down below if you're new here and hit that subscribe button. We're almost 2,000 subscribers, and I really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you have any comments, drop them down below, and I'll get back to you. Share this video, and we'll see you next time.